Hey, welcome back, everybody. Pinch hitting for Reggie in this moment. I got Grant back with me. Yeah, you like that? I like it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we do have to give some grades out. This is probably the most painful part of the year. I wish we were talking about the Braves in the National League Championship Series, but instead, end of the season grades. You can combine it between the regular season and the postseason. Mm -hmm. Let's start with somebody who we all think is going to win the NL MVP, right? Ronald Acuna Jr. had a sensational season, didn't show up in the postseason. What's his cumulative grade? I'm still going to give Ronald Acuna Jr. a solid A because, I mean, honestly, taking the plus off might just be because he didn't get to have his moment in the postseason. There yeah. was one opportunity for him in that game four with a fly ball to the warning track. The bases were loaded. Maybe we'll be talking about an A. Maybe we'll be doing this in two weeks if that had happened, <laughs> but be that as it may, the 40-70 season, leading the league in hits and on-base percentage, driving in 100 runs at a leadoff spot, coming close to winning a batting title. And just, by the way, taking away all questions about what 2022 Ronald Lacuna Jr. looked like mm -hmm. as that not being Ronald Lacuna Jr. I don't know what he does for an encore for this, but I know for him, he wanted to be having that encore in the postseason, and that did not happen. I still think I'm going to blame Brian Snicker for this, because remember the video that came out, and he said, you're going to be playing in the World Series this year, Devon Acuna Jr. He said it on the field. I, yeah. I didn't like that. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I did like that, because I, 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 I like so the validation of that, though. Yeah, there is, but I mean, if they didn't get there believing that they were going to play in the World Series, sure. they had no business being there to begin sure, with. Sure, sure. So. And we wish that Acuna would have showed up in Absolutely. that decisive game, Absolutely. but still, you can't take away the incredible season no. that he had. Let's go to the starting rotation, because sure there were some really powerful arms for the Braves in the starting rotation they ran into some injuries it kind of bit them a little bit in the postseason what do you give them their grade I don't know again and we talked about this earlier that I, I, I got to put it on the offense as to why they didn't win in the postseason sure. Spencer Strider did what he could they didn't win either of those games but yep. be that as it may they had to go through 16 different starting pitchers this year <laughs> obviously they wanted more Max Freed at least they had him around later they lost Kyle Wright for most of the year Charlie Morton got hurt late but you were basically relying on three starting pitchers all year long in a revolving door so I'm going to give him a B minus because I feel like you still had the best record in baseball yeah. your rotation was still able to for the most part keep you in games and the offense took care of the rest so I think B minus is pretty fair but you would have loved to have been rolling out Charlie Morton in that game three that's just one of the many what ifs of the National League Division Series for the Braves it could be the last time that we do see Charlie it Morton he hasn't made a decision right. also Kyle Wright will not be pitching next year right. for the Braves do you anticipate them really quickly adding an arm into the mix I they need think one they, I think they need two arms Charlie yeah. Morton might be one but I think they need two okay let's move on to continue our grading here manager Brian Snicker he's a hot topic on Twitter every year isn't he <laughs> What would you Always. give him every, as a grade? <laughs> I would give him an A because yeah. I feel like Snit has done something that I think a lot of other managers would love to be able to do, and that is allow his clubhouse to grow into a group of individuals who do play together on a regular basis. Now, yeah. I know we're talking about this after the team showed up and went flat in the postseason, and there couldn't have been a worse time for that, but I don't think that it was a managerial leadership problem. You can look at that game one lineup, flip-flop and whatnot, and say, hey, maybe that was it, but they had the right guys up there in the positions where they could score, and those guys couldn't get the job done. So Brian Snicker's done this year after year. I think that he sets a great tone for this clubhouse. I'm going to give him an A, and I don't think it's a particularly hard grade. I like that you said sets the tone, because a lot of the guys in Philadelphia said they look over at him when things are going a little crazy, and it's still the same calm same presence guy. every <laughs> time, which certainly helps yep. them, especially in the postseason. And let's wrap things up with the guy making a lot of the decisions, pretty much all of them. It's Alex Anthopoulos. What would you give him? I'm going to give Alex a B plus. And, you know, I can't sit here and give you straight A's after the club is looking at its second straight division series loss going home far before anybody thought they would. And for a reason that you never would have guessed with the hitting. But, you know, he's got an opportunity to do some extra credit over the course of the offseason. <laughs> you know he's going to be doing his homework. I'm going to stop with these puns. But he's got a <laughs> job to do. And I know that he is going to be looking for ways to make this club that much better. And we'll see what he's able to come up with. But I don't think he would be sitting there giving himself an A for the season. There's unfinished work for this team. They put so much into it. They had, I think, the club built the way that they wanted to, plus or minus a couple question marks. But now you got to start all over again. So we'll see what he's able to do. This guy does not sleep when it comes to the offseason. He, he will ever. be hard <laughs> at work for sure. We bring you on for the puns, but also for the grades. Grant, thank you. We'll be right back with our video of the week.